Hello everyone, how are you today? This is Mark. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. If somebody asks me what words are the most important in English, I would put all my money on nouns. Why nouns? Because they are what we in a sentence refer to. Without a noun or a pronoun, the sentence wouldn't make much sense, would it? A noun can be countable or uncountable, as we will see in our lesson. And they can be concrete or abstract. So, let's start with this lesson on what you don't know about nouns, shall we? Yes, as I said, nouns can be countable and uncountable. Countable means that you can count them, so you can make them plural, like a book, books, right? Uncountable, you cannot count them, like milk. If you want to count milk, you need a partitive. A partitive is like a word, carton. So, for example, a carton of milk. If you want to watch a lesson on partitives, you may click here. Now, the plural is made with an S at the end, but not always. For example, goose, geese, foot, feet, mouse, mice, ox, oxen, child, children, and so on. There are many exceptions. The second point, so gender. With some uh, means of transport, you need to use the, uh, the pronoun she or the possessive pronoun her. For example, with cars, with ships, with countries, with oceans. For example, I went on a cruise last week. She took us to Crete. So, she here refers to a cruise. So, it's usually referred with a feminine um, pronoun or a possessive uh, pronoun. There are also uh, professions like actor and actress, or waiter and waitress, host and hostess, or, and here we have president, stays the same, president. So you need to learn which gender to use, because sometimes they have the equivalent in the feminine. Obviously, for animals, we have another word. For example, bull, cow, horse, mare, drake, duck, etc. So remember gender, that nouns are usually don't have gender, but sometimes it can have a gender. Nouns with ing, so they refer to activities, for example, working, is the act of a person or thing that works. Working is good for your health, for example. Working is the noun right there. The next point that I want to talk about is that nouns are rarely used alone. They need supporting material, like uh, modifiers or qualifiers. For example, if I said the head, the head of what? The head of the office, the head of um, the company, etc. Or rise, um, not the verb, but the noun. So, families rise, or the rise of the novel, for example, or the top. I can refer to the top of the building, the top of the mountain. So, what are modifiers? They are adjectives or they are nouns. And uh, I gave you three examples here. Political, and in this case we have an adjective, political affairs. So you need this to, to create the meaning that you want, right? Water level. In this case we have two nouns, right? Water level or Italian citizenship. Citizenship is the noun and Italian is the adjective. This is a modifier right there. These are three modifiers. Now we have qualifiers. They are uh, prepositional phrases. And uh, I gave you here some examples. The top of the mountain, the way of walking, prepositional phrases, are the ones that follow of. Okay, so the top of, the way of walking. 
Some nouns are always used with modifiers. For example, eater. If I say eater, we need something else, right? Meat eater or fish eater or vegetable eater. Uh, everybody eats, right? So eater is not, uh, it doesn't give you the whole meaning of the word. So you need something else. You need a modifier. Some nouns are used with possessive determiner apostrophe s or a prepositional phrase of, for example, the point of the situation, right? Or man's culture, etc. Now I'm going to erase this and I'm going to list some nouns that are rarely used alone. So as promised, I'm going to mention some nouns that need supporting material. A modifier or a qualifier. So, for example, prime, kind, range, discovery, top, the top of the mountain, head, the head of the office, we said, growth, the population growth, center, yes, the city center, scale, limit, the speed limit, Affair, family affair, case, rise, time, bottom, the bottom line is roll, tone, the ringtone, for example, depth, and I think I mentioned already level. So I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you have any comments, requests, or if you want to post your own example of a noun, you may do so. Have a great day. Don't forget to share the video if you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And see you next week with a new lesson. Take care, bye-bye.